Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of the 23rd to the 29th. If you guys want a private reading, please email me. Um, check out my website, guys, and check out my book as well. All that information is in the description box below. Alright, so let's get into this reading. Alright, so for the beginning of the week, the energy of the week, I'm sorry, you guys got the Ace of Cups. For the beginning of the week, you guys got the Hangman. The middle of the week, you guys got the Eight of Pentacles. Middle of the week. That was the middle of the week. End of the week. <laughs> you guys got the Knight of Pentacles. And over the weekend, you guys got the Four of Swords. Okay, so with the Ace of Cups, you guys got the Seven of Wands. With the hangman, you guys got the high priestess. With the eight of pentacles, you guys got the five of swords. With the nine of pentacles, you guys got the seven of swords. And with the Four of Swords, you guys got the Ten of Wands. Alright, so you guys got the Ace of Cups for the Energy of the Week with the Seven of Wands. <clears throat> so the Ace of Cups speaks of great abundance, speaks of fulfillment. Perfection, joy, fertility, opulence, something favorable, um, something, yeah, that'll fulfill your spirit and your heart. And with the Seven of Wands, it talks about success, overcoming obstacles and challenges, advantage, victory. So you guys are getting something that you guys want, something that you're passionate about, something that is fulfilling to you. You're successful in attaining this abundance. You're successful in attaining this joy, this opulence. You have an advantage in this. Okay, so that's the en the energy of the week. You you guys have um an advantage in your passion. All right. So for the beginning of the week, you guys got the hangman with the high priestess. So the hangman speaks of like being in limbo um, or like your life is literally in suspension, like you're waiting or something like that. Um, maybe because you've had a change of mind or something or a change of heart, but you're like in the in-between. You're about to be reborn into something else. And then with the high priestess is talking about wisdom, so using your wisdom, using your sound judgment to possibly get out of what it is that is keeping you here in suspense. Maybe a hidden emotion. You know what I'm saying? But use your intuition to figure out what it is. Use your feelings if you need to. To feel through what it is that you might need to let go of or what it is that you need to change because you're having a rebirth I feel like I feel like that's what it is I kind of want to elaborate on that so you guys got judgment judgment speaks of 
Yep, rebirth. I, I said it. You guys are definitely going through a rebirth. And so you guys need to figure out what it is that you need to improve. And you guys will. Alright, so the middle of the week, you guys got the Eight of Pentacles with the Five of Swords. Alright, so the Eight of Pentacles speaks of apprenticeship, like mental aptitude, personal effort, someone crafty. Five of Swords talks about conquest, defeat. So you guys are mentally strong here, I'm seeing, and you are knocking out, slashing through anything that's, I feel like, is getting in the way of your stability. Yeah, to keep you out of limbo. So you're always slashing through anything. You're putting forth that effort to defeat whatever it is that you feel is, you know, getting in your way. <sighs> I feel like pulling another card. Queen of Swords, yeah. And you guys are slashing through and taking no names, you feel me? Queen of Swords takes no shit. And you guys are taking no shit. You guys are seeing through all the crap and you're like, nope, nope, nope. Slashing through whatever it is. You're smart. You see now what it is that you need to do okay so at the end of the week you guys got the knight of pentacles with the seven of swords all right so the knight of pentacles speaks of a person a person <laughs> a person that is patient a person that is organized and capable of attaining what it is that he needs he or she needs i'm sorry um somebody that can conclude a task and with the seven of swords it's talking about new plans wishes endeavor hope okay so hmm. you guys are planning something new or going into a new plan and wow yeah y'all are going into something new because y'all cut out anything that may have gotten in the way and you're passionate like i said this energy here is passionate but the ace of cups is new something new so y'all are getting starting something new a new wish a new hope new plans something new that's a bet. All right. So for the end of the week, or I'm sorry, the weekend, you guys got the Four of Swords with the Ten of Wands. All right. So the Four of Swords speaks of rest after illness, just healing, um, solitude, keeping to yourself, and... The Ten of Wands speaks of like pressures. So I feel like you guys are resting from all the pressure that you guys have been under. Because, I mean, it does take a lot to attain your goals. Okay, with the Six of Swords. Six of Swords means travel. Headstrong difficulties to uh, uh, overcoming difficulties. I'm sorry, overcoming difficulties. Success after anxiety. Man, I told you guys. You guys are successful after all this crap. And y'all are just resting from it. Resting from, you know, coming out of limbo. Slashing out whatever it is that no longer serves you. Going towards whatever that does. And now resting. After all of that. Alright? I love you guys and I'll talk to y'all later.